All right, we left off in that last video talking about um, cubing binomial patterns. So if we see two terms in a binomial being cubed, then we can jump to this pattern if we would like. Um, but let's let's see what would happen if we just expanded the exponent here uh, using a real example. Let's start off with uh, 2m minus 3. So here's a binomial cubed. Uh, we'll use the difference. It's got a subtraction. We'll use the difference pattern in a sec, but let's expand it and see what would happen. So cubing it would mean multiplying the binomial by itself three times, right? So let's just focus on these first two parentheses first, and um, and let's do some foiling. 2m times 2m is 4m squared. 2m times negative 3 is negative 6m. We got another one of those. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Combine your like terms. And now we got to multiply all this by our last binomial there. So we'll do 2m times everything first. 2m times 4m squared is 8m cubed. 2m times negative 12m is negative 24m squared. And 2m times positive 9 positive 18m. Multiply everything by negative 3 now. Negative 3 times 4m squared is negative 12. Oops, negative 12m squared. Stack them up with their like terms. Negative 3 times negative 12m is positive 36m. And negative 3 times positive 9 is negative 27. So when we combine all of our like terms there, we got 8m cubed uh, minus, we got 36m squared. And then 18 and 36 would give us 54, 54m and minus 27. Let's get rid of this stuff, get it out of the way. Minus 27. Ooh. There we go. So that's our final answer. Well, we could have saved ourselves all of this trouble, all of this work right here, if we just knew the pattern that we could jump to. Use it kind of as a recipe to follow. Let's try it using the recipe here. Um, I want uh, my first term cubed. Well, 2m cubed is 8m cubed. Okay. Uh, and then I want to subtract 3a squared b. Well, let's do a squared first. We want to square 2m. That's 4m squared. We want to multiply it by b. So multiply it by 3. We get 12m squared. And then multiply it by another 3, so we get 36m squared, and we're using a subtraction symbol. So there it is. Okay, let's do the next one. 3ab squared, so we want to square b, so square 3, that's 9. Uh, then we want to multiply by a, so that's 2m, so that's 18m. And then we want to multiply by 3. Well, 3 times 18 is 54, and with an m. And the last one, we want a cube B. So 3 cubed is 27 with the negative sign in front. And it's just a lot faster. It saves you a lot of paper. Okay, let's try one more example here. Let's try that sum. The sum pattern. Oops. Let's do a plus 5. And we will cube this binomial. So our first uh, thing in the pattern was, was the first term cubed. So there's a cubed. Okay, the next thing is 3 
a squared b. So let's square a, let's multiply it by b, and multiply that by 3. So we get 30a squared. The next one we got a square b, so 5 squared, 25. Multiply by a, so 25a, and multiply by 3, so we get 75a. And the last one. Uh, let's see, what was it? B cubed? So 5 cubed, that's 125. Alright. I think that's our pattern. So see how much faster it is, see how much time we saved, and space. So good luck if you can memorize those, it's just a lot easier.